Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense, back once again. I told y'all your boy was going to be putting in work today. This is a second video. This is actually not the one I was working on, but somebody, I can't remember if it was Baltimore Big Man or somebody <clears throat> asked me to do a top 10. I think it was like a Christmas list or something like that. Uh, if I'm wrong, then I apologize, but I'm going to do this list anyway. Um, first and foremost, <clears throat> I know my channel started off as being cheapies, but evolution does happen whether you want it to or not. And my collection has evolved a lot since I first started. And a lot of those inexpensive cheapies that I once had, I don't have a lot of them anymore. So, uh, most of it is due to the amazing subscriber fan base that I have sending me all these samples and decants and people sending me bottles and like it's been amazing man you guys and gals are great so my collection has grown a lot of this stuff yes I did purchase on my own some of them gifts from uh, like I said subscribers or like females that I was dating and stuff like that so with that being said Make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber. If you're just somebody surfing the internet and you just ran across my channel, don't hesitate. Just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you ring that bell that's going to be up in the right-hand corner. When the icon opens up, once you ring the bell, hit all so you get all content. I know some people have an issue sometimes when I upload videos or live streams and stuff like that. And they say they can't find it or they didn't get a notification. They missed out on a live. That's probably because you didn't hit all and you hit one of the other two options that it gives you. Hit all so you get everything. Make sure you comment. Be active in the comment section. I don't care if it's for me or the spotlight right now is on my boy Trey Sense. If it's him, if it's Sam Broom, if it's Motivated Living, if it's Bro Sense, if it's, you know, whoever the case may, whoever the person is, I don't care who you're watching, big or small. Make sure you're active in the comment section. Make sure you hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button. Personally speaking, I don't give a damn which one you hit, just as long as you hit one. And share. Share our videos. Let other people know who don't know about these channels that we're out here. Some of us do have pretty good content. Others of us are up and coming and struggling a little bit. Uh, but we have some of these people haven't found their niche yet. But just give them a chance anyway. Um, it ain't like you're doing a lot anyway. You're probably sitting at home on your couch, you know, not doing nothing. So why not watch a video or two of somebody talking about some of your favorite fragrances? You might learn something. You never know. Um, if you're not friends with me on Facebook, always send me a friend request. But also, I always ask, make sure you message me in the messenger section to let me know Hey, Mr. Cheap Sense, I'm from YouTube. I'm a new subscriber or I'm such and such and so and so, so I'll know. Because if you just send me a friend request and I don't know who you are, I'm nine times out of ten not going to accept it. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I changed my hashtag. It is now Mr. Cheap Sense, all one word, no spaces. So people can't say, oh, I can't find you. I can't find you. It's Mr. Cheap Sense now. And on Facebook, my name is Keith Crook, and it says, a.k.a. Mr. Cheap Sense, off to the side. If you can't find me, I don't know what else to tell you. So let's get to it. Now, this is a holiday list for Christmas. And this is my top 10 um, Christmas I guess you can call it Christmas list or top 10 Christmas fragrance list or however I'm going to word it. I don't, I don't know yet. Um, I do have one honorable mention. There are many fragrances that I could have went with in this, uh, in this top 10 list. But I think you guys will be satisfied because there's a mixture of some inexpensive and some a little expensive Um of course, I haven't went through a lot of the stuff that I just got in recently. So I can't put those on the list because I haven't smelled them. There are a lot of fragrances that I haven't tested or sampled, decants, bottles. 
So I can't put those on the list. But these fragrances are ones that I have worn, that I know about, that work, and that are perfectly fitting for the cold weather holiday season. So let's get into it. First up, honorable mention, is one that I actually like. And I've had this particular fragrance before. And I had the intense version. And I wish I would have kept the intense version. But if you can't find the intense version, then the regular version works just as well. And it is from the house of Boss. This is Boss or Hugo Boss um, Boss Bottle. And I actually like this one. A lot of people may not feel the same about this fragrance. Um, the original is not the best in performance, but it has that kind of apple cinnamon. Some say apple pie type vibe to it. And I think this is perfect for the holiday season. You're going to be indoors with family. So you're not worried about being outside in the cold weather, like taken away from the performance on this one. You're inside, you're going to spray this on, and people are just going to think you smell you're blending in with the environment. All the pastries and pies and cakes and stuff like that. This fits perfect into that. So this is my honorable mention. Um, Hugo Boss. Um, Boss Bottle. I love this fragrance. And it actually was in the top 10 list. And... I thought about something else that I had decant wise that I wore. So I took this out and it's in the honorable mention section. So first up, I'm going to roll with, this is in no particular order, but I'm just going to go backwards in the number 10 spot. This is one that I also had before. And I love this scent. Why I sold it, I don't know. I guess I was being nice to a subscriber or traded it or whatever I did. But I have it again, and it's from the house of Calvin Klein. This is Reveal. This is Sweet Gourmandish. This is actually one of maybe two or three fragrances from the house of Calvin Klein that actually does perform like it's supposed to. All of that other stuff that's out there, CKB, CK Reveal, CK All, and all that freshies, summers, springtime fragrances, None of that stuff lasted for me. This is a gem. This is a jewel. If you don't have this one, you need to get it. Make sure you're into sweet fragrances, though, because this is super sweet. Can be clawing. Do not wear this in the summertime, even though maybe you can pull it off if you wear one or two sprays of it. But anything over that in the summer and spring is too much. This is great. So that's reveal. By Calvin Klein at the number 10 spot. Number 9 spot. <clears throat> I'm going to go with this one. This is from the house of um, Replica. And this is by the fireplace. Oh, I love this fragrance, man. I actually, I honestly do. All of these fragrances in this list, trust me, if I didn't like them, they would not be in this list. But Replica by the Fireplace is bottle worthy. And hopefully one day I'll be able to get my hands on a bottle of this. I have to have this one. This is nice. By the Fireplace, some people don't like it. Personally speaking, I don't give a shit. I like it. This is nice. This is right up the alley when it comes to Christmas, Thanksgiving, cold weather, Family, friends, food. This is right up that alley. So at the number nine spot, this is replica by the fireplace. <clears throat> at the number eight spot, this is one I like over the other flankers. This one is way, way better to me. This is not that bubble gummy or super syrupy, sweet type fragrance. This is gentlemanly. Um, this has that sweetness to it that's right up my alley. More sophisticated than um, the original One Million and One Million Lucky. This is One Million Privé. And I think this is right 
it, this falls right into the holiday season. Very nice fragrance. If you don't have this one, go out, test it. Make sure you like it before you purchase a bottle of it. Um, you can find this one in rack stores on occasion for around the $45 mark. You may be able to find it cheaper online, but with me, it is what it is. I like this fragrance a lot. This is my favorite, hands down. Yes, I do have one million. I did have Lucky, and it didn't perform like I thought it should, so I actually got rid of it, in which I should have kept it, so I could have had the trifecta, but I'll find it again. Um, but this, I'm definitely glad to have this one. This is one million Privé. At the number seven spot, what I'm about to say about this particular fragrance, excuse me, may piss some people off because there are people out there who have the original formulation and all that stuff. And me personally, I don't complain a whole lot when it comes to fragrances not performing and stuff like that. People get butt hurt and they you know complain and hoopla and all this kind of stuff and i don't care about reformulation and what's original and all that crap because a lot of that stuff i didn't even experience when it was original so why should i care i'm in the now not the then so this one is from the house of ysl yves saint laurent this is la nuit de l'homme and this one I got from Ulta, and it was marked down. It wasn't on. Uh, it wasn't full retail. It was marked down, and this actually was a mistake purchase because I was actually buying, trying to buy the original loan, and I picked up the wrong box, and I didn't realize it until like uh, some time later when I got home and I opened it. And I was like, this ain't what I was, but I didn't take it back because when I smelled it, I fell in love with it gorgeous scent it doesn't perform like most want it to especially for the price but this is one of those close encounter scents and there's another close encounter scent i have on this on this list also but this one is great i love it i get about maybe five hours of projection uh longevity out of this one projection probably like an hour maybe an hour and a half depending um, great for the cold weather. I wouldn't recommend wearing this in the heat. This also would fall in line with the holiday season if it's cold out. Um, you're around family, friends. Uh, maybe you're all going out for like a family outing or something like that. Restaurant or something. This is perfect. Date night, close encounter type scent. Gotta love it. So now we are number six. This one is also a close encounter type scent, but also I think can work in the cooler weather. Perfect for the holiday season also. Um, this actually is the Eau de Parfum concentration, and this is from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. This is the one EDP. Now, I do have the EDT version, which will work also and as you can see i've worn last winter and fall i wore a decent amount of this um there was somebody that i was dealing with at the time i was wearing this the original and used to sit on the couch and watch tv and she used to snuggle up next to me and just sniff the hell out of me and this smells so good but i ran into this one at TJ Maxx and I was shocked as hell to see this one and I had to have it so now I have both and that means I'm gonna wear a little more of this one now so I may wear this one coming up sometime soon you never know I might wear it today but this is the EDP version and this is nice man I haven't worn this one yet but I have smelled it there is a slight difference this one is more, I want to say, richer, a little more denser than the original, but it still does the same thing. I don't know about the performance on this one yet, but this is perfect for this time of weather. So Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP.
Now we're at the number five spot. This one may be a surprise to some people because not a lot of people talk about this fragrance. This one actually has been mentioned a few times on Facebook and maybe YouTube a little bit. This actually was the first purchase I ever made from this house. And I found this one at TJ Maxx last year sometime when the hype was real, um, real big. And this house did pick up a lot of traction, especially being, you know, the prices that they were. You could find the 100 ml bottles for like 14, 15 bucks. Now you find the gift sets and the little small, I think 30 mls. Um, but this one was or is from the House of English Laundry. This is Windsor. And this one is perfect for the holiday season. This doesn't have plum in it, but it kind of gives off like this plum vibe. And I am going to spray this one. It does give off kind of like a plum vibe. I love plum, even though it's not in this. This is great. This is actually one that I love from their house. Now, I did have Tahitian waters and I had almost all of them. This one is the best performing one off of my skin. This is this is great. If you don't have this one, you need to pick it up. I've seen gift sets of this recently. Uh, still not expensive. Perfect for cooler weather. Perfect for Thanksgiving, Christmas, stuff like that. So if you don't have Windsor, check it out. At the number four spot, another one that is perfect for the cold weather. I actually love this one. This is from the house of Burberry. Um, this is London. Sweet tobacco um, falls right in line with the holiday season. This is great. Not the best performing fragrance, but it works. You spray this on and people are going to like it. Um, if they don't like tobacco, then I understand. But this is very, this is a very likable fragrance. Um, let me spray this because I haven't smelled this one in a while. I actually had a smaller bottle of this and I left it in that box I gave to, I traded with Matt from Georgia Gent. But I ended up getting another bottle of this one. So, yes, very nice. This is on the more inexpensive side. You can find this at rack stores for maybe 20 bucks, uh, maybe less. It just depends on the bottle size. I've seen the bigger bottles of it, but you don't need that much. A bottle like this or maybe a little smaller one like I had before, perfect. At the number three spot, this is another one that I think is perfect for the holiday season. This is... CH Men Privé. This one actually, I believe, was gifted to me also by a subscriber some time back. And I love this one. It has that flippy top. Um, great scent. Slightly boozy. Atomizer is great. Oh, man, I love this. I, I've only worn this once, but I need to start wearing like it, it really hasn't been cold enough around here to be wearing some of these fragrances. That's why my list or my scent of the days you see, they're not really heavy, thick scents because it's not that cold out. It doesn't get that cold here. So, but this is great, especially for this time of year. I know this is a maybe a little on the more expensive side, but if you can find this, check it out. I'm not saying purchase it, but check it out. Um, if you have a friend who has it and wants to decant you a little bit or maybe let you spray it and see what it smells like on a card or something, then go for it. But CH Men Privé. Number two is actually one that I wore the other day. It was my scent of the day. I believe it was like two days ago. I love this fragrance. This is one I didn't purchase for myself. This is from 
another one of the females that I was dating at the time recently um, purchased for me in Atlanta, Georgia. And this one, I think, ran about a 90 something to $100, in which I wouldn't have paid that much for it, but I appreciate it nonetheless. This is Armani Cold Profumo. I talked about this one in my live stream the other night. It was last night or the night before. I can't remember when it was, but no, not last. It was the night before last. And this is great. Kind of has that, some say root beer or Dr. Pepper type vibe. I do kind of get that, but not really. But it's great. Um, a pretty good performer. Doesn't go past eight hours, but it did get me about six maybe. Um, but that's more than enough for somebody like me who don't mind reapplying. So at the number two spot is Armani Cold Profumo. I actually seen a smaller bottle of this um, not too long ago in TJ Maxx. So you can find these. Of course, the price is going to run you maybe, uh, I want to say, I think this is a 90 ml. It's probably going to run you about 40 something to $50 for the half size of this which kind of sucks, but you know, you may be able to find it cheaper online. So, and last but not least at the number one spot, this is one that when I did my scent of the day and did a review on it, people were going crazy, especially on Instagram saying how good of a fragrance this is. This is great. This is wonderful. This is this and that. And you know, I agree. I've only worn it once since I had it. This came also from Matt over at Georgia Gent in that trade that we did. Um, and this is the main reason why I was ecstatic to do that trade was because this was in there. And this is Dior Ohm Intense. Great fragrance. I know this is on the expensive side. Dior products usually don't get marked down, which made this an extremely great trade on uh in my behalf um i'm just ecstatic to have this one great for this time of year i am gonna waste a spray ah oh, that smells so good man um the oral intense what can i say about this fragrance that hasn't already been said great smelling fragrance the performance is excellent on this one i get no complaints i did get compliments when i wore this one and i wish i could get my hands on more flankers of these because i've heard some of the other ones are good too i do have the cologne the dior own cologne uh which also i think was a gift um but for the most part I like this list a lot. Um, all of these fragrances are, I think, well worth um, wearing around the holiday season because during the year, it's kind of hard to pull some of these off being that they're so dense, rich, um, and some of them kind of sweet. But once it gets cold like we're having now, hey, perfect for this time of year. Just make sure you don't go heavy on the trigger. The majority of these fragrances can be overpowering, um, especially if you're like at a, a office or, you know, like you have a, a your job workplace has a function like Christmas parties and potlucks and stuff like that. You don't want to go in and have on something that's going to overpower you while you're standing next to a group of your coworkers. Um, something like the Dior Ohm Intense, one or two sprays is more than enough of that. Um, couple of sprays of this one, CH Men, not so much, Dolce & Gabbana, Privé, stuff like that. La Nuit de Lone can be a little overpowering with that cardamom, uh, CK Reveal, but the rest of them I think are perfect. You can go a few more sprays of, of the others, but hey, it is what it is, guys. So, hope you enjoy this list. Stay tuned, more to come. Here's to smelling great. Peace.